know. Hi, everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to the beach. Um, it's a great day. It's a tough day. It's only sunny in 85. The dogs are here. Jenny's here. Gabrielle's here. I'm here. We're all here. The question, though, is, and this is a pretty big question for many of you, how did you start your day today? What did you do when you got up? Did you, uh, <laughs> Jen, the dog is going nuts over here. <laughs> she thinks I have food. Um, how'd you start your day? What'd you do when you got up? I had to get ready right away. I had, I had to interview somebody. I had to talk to them about their book. So that's why my weekend is booked. Ooh. And I put myself in a winning situation by helping him promote better. I love helping other people. It makes me feel good. <clears throat> then I wrote a little bit. Then I prepped a little bit. And now it's time for you. But I have stuff to do today. I have like a long list of things I got to do. But I started with what I'm doing for myself. And I think that's how you have to start. Jen started her day this morning walking the dogs on the beach and then going to play tennis. It's all about her. And you have a good time, Jenny? Oh, yeah. yeah, exactly. And so now she's in the mood to go do other things that are amazing. Of course, she had to recharge her watch, but that's a whole other issue. I forgot it for tennis. Oh, no. No, that's the worst. When you play a sport and you forget your Apple Watch so it doesn't track your activity. Yeah. So how did I ever play sports growing up and not track my activities? I, I, don't, I don't know either. But I grew up, like many of you, if you're in within 15 or 20 years of me, you went up and after you grew up and after school, you played ball. God, you Play basketball, play baseball, play football, play whatever sport was in season. And when did you go home? At dark. You have to be home by dark to eat dinner. So in the winter, you ate earlier. In the summer, you ate later. Just that simple. I I can't, you know, we, I didn't even have a watch, let alone a phone. Ah. This is an amazing world we live in. There's so much technology. There's so many things that you can be doing right now that will help you. And you're not taking advantage of them. You're just not taking advantage of them. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, yes, we're going to have the foot race this week. We are. Yeah, this week or this weekend. Not really sure. Uh, Charles Coachman has already bet $5 on Gabrielle. <laughs> Oh, my gosh. Um, Ackermark, did you get the videos I sent you? Just let me know because I have a hard time. I'm not a WhatsApp aficionado. It takes me five minutes to figure out how to send the damn thing. But in the meantime, George, tell me, tell me what you did for you. We are all self-made, but only the successful will admit it. Earl Nightingale, I love that quote. Good morning, Ackermark. What's, if you want to leverage your time, talent, content, expertise, and experience, you must master not only speaking, but marketing and selling too. David Newman. I like David Newman. Happy birthday, Mary West. Well, there you darn go. Mary West is having a birthday today. 29 years old, hardly even looks it. Winterville, Georgia has checked in. Rings has checked in. Downs has checked in. Good. Bel Air, Texas. Mm -mm -mm. Trinidad is here. When things go bad, don't go with them. Elvis Presley. Oh, my gosh. Isn't that cool? Yeah. That's a great Elvis quote. I woke up and said, thank you. <laughs> Classic. David Gilmore sold his black Strat in 2019. It became the most expensive guitar ever sold at that time. 
Wow. That was an amazing guitar. Why would you sell it? He has all the money in the world. Who knows? Probably got a new one. Said, nah, I'll sell this one. Maybe he gave the money to charity. Who knows what happened? Whatever you read in the paper won't be true anyway. Good morning from the Philippines. Good morning to you, Nancy. Good morning, Jan and Jeffrey. Good morning, Renee. Started my day by kissing my wife and heading down to a great 8 a.m. workout. Yeah, cool. That's great. Coachman? Exactly. Well, thank you, Richard. And Beck? Don't let the fear of the time it will take to accomplish something stand in the way of doing it. The time will pass anyway. We might as well put that passing time to the best possible use. Earl Nightingale. I, you know, when I heard that, and I'm talking about maybe 1972 is when I heard that, I realized that everything will take its place over time, whether you're involved in it or not. So I decided to get involved. Another Filipino, thank you very kindly for being here. If you have five bucks on Gabrielle, thank you, Coachman. Doug Wing is headed to the chipping range. <laughs> cool. Jen gets another shout out. A slave to the apple rings like me. Jen. Yes. This woman, Teresa Silcox, is a slave to the rings. My pleasure, Skinner. At breakfast the other yesterday. Wow, yesterday. When you're when you're on the move, days go by in two seconds. Jen gets another shout out. I love this. Saturday's pretty cool. And exactly. Thank you. Thank you, Rachel. And Toru is here. Dude, you're a classic. I love it. If I lived by what others were thinking, the heart inside me would have died. Bob Dylan. Yeah, that's classic. Good morning. Lynn, how are you? Whoa. The inventor of pocket fisherman, Ron Pupil, passed away. Yeah. Said it. And forget it. Unbelievable. He uh, probably one of the best salespeople of all time. Happy Saturday. Today is a day to be great. The Caribbean is here. I'm so happy for that. Richard, my wife and I still love your little girl's answer, not being able to afford the sale. Cool. I had a great, I read a great quote this morning. Want to hear it? Yeah. Hold on. Jen is going to come over with a great quote while I talk to, yes, I got the video. It's cool. Milford on the sea. Wow. In the UK. Richard, nice to see you, bud. Who do you support? How about that? And a good one is here. I read about the history of rotary four-way test. That's really good, by the way. I gave a lot of speeches at the Rotary Club. I never joined because they make attendance mandatory, like BNI. I couldn't do it. Um, but I would challenge you that the rotary four-way test is a classic. Go take a look at it. Final day of the conference. Feedback for our tech support was great. Lots of lessons learned. The phrase until your ass comes off became a silent theme. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. Chris Cook. In Atlanta, where we have CDC, which is land stands for continual daily confusion. Yep. What's going on there, huh? What is going on? Took the time to reflect and read the Bible for about an hour prior to my live stream. Good man. Good man. Good morning from Brandon, Florida. Claudia, good morning to you too. 
see, this is so cool. All these people are here. They're just a boom. Your current situation is not a commentary on your worth as a human being. Where's your quote? Oh, you're cooking. Jen's cooking breakfast. She'll be right here. On 26, I see why you fly. Exactly. Pick up. This is uh, 26, by the way, is Interstate 26 from um, Columbia to Charleston. Everyone goes 80. <laughs> Everyone goes 80 miles. You can be doing 80 miles an hour and get passed regularly by a truck that's bigger than you are. 4.30 this morning, intentions and affirmations, one hour of Pilates and 30 minutes of weight training. Oh, my God. I have a coaching Zoom this morning, five-hour immersion click funnel. Wow. Then dinner with friends, take it out to my best friend, who's my husband's birthday. You know, Renee, that's a great day. That is a great, that day is full. Yeah. Oh, $5 on me. Okay, I, I can't. <laughs> um, $5 on you. Oh, yeah. well, no one's betting on me, but that's okay. No. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so... Um, I, I'm going to take this out of context because if I say the full thing, then the video will be taken down because, you know, things get like taken down, taken down. Anyway, um, I discern that many of you are justifiably concerned. Please remember that God planned the beginning to the end of mankind's existence on earth before he created the world. What's going to happen in the future is what it is and what it will be all planned by God and all resolved on his timing. Our job is to do our imperfect best one day at a time. God's will shall be done on earth as it is in heaven. There are no exceptions. He controls or she controls everything. <laughs> so seek God's will and do your best and help him each day. Trust God. All will be well. And it was just like this, like, I don't know, reminder for me. I'm not very like gaudy all the time. But um, and actually, I have a different God than this person. But um, I can tell by I, the writing who that person is. Yeah, I just thought, like, you know, oftentimes we worry so much about whatever is going to happen. But there's no point in worrying because whatever is going to happen is going to happen. Just figure out how to deal with it, you know, or do your best before it and does happen. I just prepare, do exactly. your best, exactly. and and like whatever happens happens and it's meant to happen and you'll figure it out and so it's just a nice reminder That's there's all. two god quotes that i would it's, like to give you if, you if you want to make god laugh show him your business plan and the other one is man thinks god laughs old jewish expression anyway it's very much taken out of context so if you need the full thing message me but i won't be able to give it to you on dm either because they censor that too well, there you go. You have it straight from the wife's mouth. Eric, Candy Graham. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. You know, people don't understand Candy Graham that didn't grow up in the 70s and 80s. Say what? Yeah, exactly. Candy Graham was around before Jen was born. Candyland, like the game? No, Candy Graham, like Saturday Night Live. When the land shark came to your door and ate you. Who's there? Candy Graham. Yeah, I have no idea. Landshark. Move to the villages tomorrow will be, I will enter the 70s. Oh, my God. Really? You don't look a day over 69. I didn't realize you were that old. You always seemed young to me. Great one, Mr. Dillon. Agreed. Also woke up and my wife turned on the TV and there was a little giant infomercial one with Hal Wing. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. So I know that guy and she thought I was full of shit. <laughs> oh my God. Invest time, don't spend it. Jeffrey Gittimer. And that's exactly correct. So, yes, sir. Hook, line, sinker beats noodling. Yep. Good morning. Good morning, 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 good afternoon, good evening. Who is the kid author you recommended to teach kids to be entrepreneurs? I can't remember. Who was the kid author that I recommended to teach kids to be entrepreneurs? Oh, probably the Tuttle Twins. Yeah, 
the Tuttle twins, T U T T L E. Hold on, Tuttle. They teach you everything. Yeah, they teach you everything about life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. They teach you what schools don't dare. How about that? Yeah, exactly. Hold on, where the? There we go. Failure is not about insecurity; it's about lack of execution. I totally agree with that. I totally agree with that. I better save that. I'm putting that in my consultative selling program. Thank you, Renee. Unbelievable what people will do and won't do. Gabrielle is here. We're rolling. We're ready to go to town. Huh? We're not going to town? Come on, you can go. You want to say hey? Hey, show show us your nails. They're so beautiful. Everyone got nails done yesterday. It's all right. Just show your nails. Whoa, so beautiful. Gabrielle, people are betting on you to win the race. Yeah. So Charles Coachman bet five bucks you're going to beat me. Okay. So, there you go. Exactly. Climb on Jeffrey's shoulders while I take the young filly. The young filly is still young. Um, somebody bet on the bay. Boom. Uh, and, you know, happy birthday. Boom. I'll bet on you, Jen. See, somebody's betting on you. Yes. You got one bet. I'm telling them I'm sorry. I'm going to go out on the beach and kick ass. Tell them oh, and, I'm so and, sorry and, and an amen. My bet is on Jennifer Gittimer. Oh, my God. Say hey, what? There's three Jen Gittimer bets. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. Please don't bet on me. I looked it, but they always beat me. Yeah. <laughs> I have two coins on my dresser. First one's Rotary Club. The other one bears a profile of Jeffrey Gittimer in Sales We Trust. Thanks. Thank you. How long have you had, Tim, how long have you had that coin? That might be something to tell people. That first thing is my favorite also. Cool. And now a candy gram for Mongo. Ah, Alonzo, how you doing, bud? Good morning, 959ers. Um, Jay Skinner wants the whole message. The whole message? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This is great. Everyone who's here this morning, go just get the Tuttle Twins. Get the books. There, There's tons of them. I think there's 11 or 12 books. They come in a set. Yeah, they have books for different ages, too. Yeah, books for different. Some of them? Huh? Yeah. We have a couple here. We are paying Gabrielle 20 bucks a book to read and do a book. You must do the book report to get the 20 bucks. And I'm telling you, it's better than anything that kids will learn in school. They school they learn bullshit. I want to learn how to be a success in life. I want attitude. I want goals. I want listening. I want respect. That's what the Tuttle Twins teach. Oh, my. Wait a second. Wait a second. Gabrielle, the undefeated champ. We'll see about that. Candy Graham for Mongo. Oh, that's... Uh, okay, so this is like the younger age ones. The law. That's all the free... The Miraculous Pencil is all about how the free market... How the free market works. Ooh, Jekyll Island. The creature from Jekyll Island. Jekyll Island's an island in Georgia off Atlanta. This is about business and Food how to truck create fiasco. disruptive business. And this one is about, uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, but there you go. And they're, they're just they're small books. There's a few big ones. There's a few. There's ones for older kids novels. too, but we haven't got into that series yet. She yeah. has to get paid for these first. Boom. <laughs> um, Gabrielle, the undefeated chick. Come on. 
Come on. No, that's not it. Wow, it's my mother-in-law's 96th birthday today. Wow, happy damn birthday. Go to 100, honey. Get to 100. Yeah, the passing of Ron Popeil, one of the greatest pitchmen ever. I, he was almost as good as Hal Wing, pitching that little giant ladder. I mean, these are two of the best pitch guys that ever lived. And the other guy was the other guy that – the British guy that died. I can't remember his name. I apologize. He you did OxyClean, that guy. What are you eating? Shishito peppers? Did you make me any? No. Well, there you go. What's this? Yeah. You know, it would be cold by the time you were done. But wait, there's more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can watch the replay. But wait, there's more. It's said to be pregnant with promise. Oh, cool. Yeah, there's always a Ginsu knife deal. There's always a Ginsu knife. Hey, wait, if you buy now, you get a set of steak knives. Happy birthday to my uncle Lindahl, 100 today. Wow. I'm, I, I go out 100. Ronnie? Sorry. All is well. Nothing broke. We need young people to teach some of us older folks. Let me tell you what. Gabrielle can teach you anything you want. She gave me a lesson this morning about how she shops. It was unbelievable. It was literally unbelievable how this kid finds stuff online. Unbelievable. John Philip Sousa at the Ice Cream Social at the Courthouse Lawn. Under the giant Dutch elms. Yep. John Philip Sousa. Boom. Our Aquarians better sales trainers. As far as I'm concerned, they're the best in the world. Jeffrey Gittimer, February 11th. I drove to Cleveland. I drove from Cleveland to Grand Rapids to hear, to get Yuri seminar. I got there as you were arriving. Oh, much in my seminar. I helped you and your crew to get all the equipment. Wow, 20 years ago. Thank you. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Thank you. I remember those seminars in Grand Rapids, by the way, were phenomenal. They were at a little theater. The guy collected Dr. Seuss. I forget the name of the hall, but it was not in Grand Rapids. It was like in the suburb of Grand Rapids, and it was just amazing. Absolutely amazing. Billy Mays, that's exactly who it was. Thank you. Thank you. I think these books will be good for kids. Exactly. Um, Billy Mays, Hal Wing, Ron Popeil. Name better pitchmen than that. You cannot. You cannot. Tuttle Twins, awesome set of books for kids and adults. Whoa. And Coachman, open your mouth for the mute. For the rights of all the unfortunate, open your mouth for the judge righteously and defend the rights of the afflicted and needy. Proverbs. Good going. Lifetime replacement guarantee. <laughs> Love that. But wait, there's more. Never gets old. I agree. I totally agree. Lots of noise from the kitchen. Used to me, mom was expressing something she was not pleased about. Oh, my God. I used Gabrielle's tactics this week, fundraising event. Would you like change? Good. <laughs> Perfect. The inventor of the Ginsu knife lives in my town, Warwick, Rhode Island. They named a street after it. Wow. Look at all the history that's coming out of here this morning. This is phenomenal. The last time I saw you, you had a manager seminar in downtown Cleveland. I have the picture of you and I at that event. Cool. Send it to me. Come on. Get a JPEG off to me. Tim. Now, tomorrow is Sunday. And it will not be bloody Sunday. It will be a great Sunday. Maybe prayerful. Maybe um, spiritual. But it should be workful and restful with your family full. So go for that. In the meantime... I'm going to absolutely have to see you guys tomorrow.
<sighs> Peace to you. Long life to you. Cheers. Stay healthy. <laughs>